Rochelle's not keeping it real. Chris Rochelle's not keeping it real. Just own up to what you say. Like, Davino was like, oh, how do you not know? How do you not know your husband filing for divorce? Well, what did you do? What did you do? I just believe it's always two sides. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Carly Safashana here. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And thank you for tuning in. And if you're returning, hey girl, what's up? Y'all can rock with me. I love y'all. And we love the newcomers too. We always welcome to people who want to join the fam. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys just basically this. It's kind of like my go-to every day. It may be a little bit for some people, but it's what I do. You don't have to do it, but you can watch me do it. Or you can give me some tips or you can take tips from me. It don't matter. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. So let's jump right into this video. Do I do toffee or almond? I'm going to do toffee. So when my eyebrows are actually um, threaded, I don't do this. So back to the show. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Anytime I start doing my eyebrow, like anything up here, I guess I get sidetracked. Um, sorry, this is janky because I used to dip it and put my lashes on there. I used to try to clean it off and obviously the tissue got stuck. Don't judge me. Um, but anyways, back to what I was saying about selling sunsets. Um, I was naming them or whatever. So... From season one, I have watched since this thing hit Netflix, right? So, I feel like uh, this isn't in any way to drag one particular person. It's just what I've observed throughout the show, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, Christine, she, she basically carries the show on her back. Okay, I give her that. I give her her flowers for that. Because without her, the show honestly probably would not be entertaining. Because Mary, first season, just has her, um, like, her boyfriend was like 23 or something, or 24. Possibly 22. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, but he's young. Like, he's younger than her. And she's like 40 something, right? And I'm not talking about age or cougars. I don't have anything against it date whoever you love if they love you honey rock out like that's how i feel but when it can comes to like mary okay hold on i'm sorry i'm jumping around wrong christine so christine carried the show on her back because i'm gonna give it to you straight she's basically the villain she's basically the villain and it's she's the villain because she comes off as such this mean girl and as you get into the show, I believe it's Christine who she sits down with just to get to know her and stuff like that, I guess. Um, but anyways, they're sitting down at a bar, I believe. Y'all haven't watched season one in quite some time, but I do remember it. Just not every little single detail, okay? So, that kind of hurt. So, she just basically is the villain, like... And I'm not going to say she's a villain. This this was like maybe, okay, maybe she's just kind of rough at first when you meet her. Like, you know, she's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. And some type of people, sometimes some people you have to take in doses, honey. Because it's not going to work with everybody. And that's fine. Like, that is totally fine, in my opinion. Because not everybody is going to get along with everybody. Anyways, Christine portrayed herself as this, um... You know, she was a little chubby kid, I guess you could say. Or, I don't know. I I think that's why they bullied her or something like that. That's just, that was a fat kid. Or maybe that's Asian Arch. <laughs> Anywho. Um, she basically said she was bullied as a kid. And she's not like that as a person. It's crazy. Because that's all she wants to do is just, like, overcome that. And I guess what she said was to become successful. I guess her doing that was, like, made her build, like, confidence. To overcome like she just want to be successful okay that was her f-u-b words <laughs> you know we just want to grow up and shit on somebody so that to me is what's like okay let me you know let me give christine a chance i like her she is a little bit mean girl but i don't know but now hold on you guys because i did have some talking points 
I don't like this. Um, I don't like when people disguise being mean or rude with, oh, I'm just being real. Oh, I'm just being real. No. You don't have to be anal and to be real or like you don't have to be rude or there's always a, a nice way to deliver things is what I say. Excuse me y'all because I'm going to put this on a real janky way, okay? <laughs> it's a bubble at the top. I'm trying to get a, a, this is the product on my face and now I'm going to get my flat top foundation brush. This is a um, Sonic Cashew brush from Target. Love it. It's really, 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 it's really dense. But yeah, there's always a delivery for me. So you do not have to be rude or a a-hole about it, about anything in my opinion, because delivery is key. But one thing about dense brushes, I feel like they drink up a lot of foundation. Or maybe it's just me. But I, that's just how I feel. My nose is sore. I feel like I have a cut inside of it. So I'm going to brush it on my nose because it does hurt when I tap it. This is giving yellow. But it looks good in this mirror. Lighting y'all will be your damn downfall. I ain't gonna cap to you. Like lighting can make you look crazy. But ooh, my mustache is coming through. <laughs> I hope y'all can't see. Oh, at least has toning down. I oh, know. Can y'all see it? And I really don't put much foundation on my forehead, honestly. I just kind of just taking a brush and I feel the foundation like that's in there coming on my face. So that's just what we're going to do. Fix my brows. I wish they're pretty stiff right now, but I feel like the foundation brush hit it. So, yeah. That's how Christine portrayed herself. <clears throat> and also like one thing I can say that really stuck out to me because I did go back and watch like the very first episodes and stuff of season one. And on season one, sis Christine was like, um, what, what did she say? She was like, oh, Heather, I just, I can't stand her. Like she was like, I hate her as a person, ma'am. Who says that? Who says, just who says that on TV, at that, like on TV, ma'am? On TV. That's what you're going to say, on TV. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, you, I say that to say this because in season five, she did come back and, um, Heather, we're going we gonna to hop off. Christine for a second. Heather is a um Heather has to be a Libra, okay? Because honey always got her little boo. Ew. Y'all see me just take this out of wrapper and it's all squeezed up like that. But Heather is a lover child, okay? Like sis always got her a man. She always off to see her man. <laughs> like sis, sis is out here to get a ring, okay? Not like she's trying to trap anybody or nothing like that. But she just, she's married. She's like, she's looking for a husband. Ain't all that. And. So, like, Heather is just. Heather, like, she's she's just kind of a ditzy girl. Um, <laughs> but Heather's nice. Heather's sweet. She don't talk junk about nobody. Like, she really is, do just, like, be in her own world. For real, for real. I say that to say, like, to me, um, Christine, she was like, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. 
Christine is just like, oh, she, um, how she, I told you, how she despises, um, y'all, I'm looking for my sibling brush. I have to learn how to talk, stop talking. Oh, there we go. And then pick back up and keep going. This color contour, or cream contour, excuse me. But Heather and, or Christine with Heather is weird because Christine, she, in season one, she said she doesn't like her, basically. She doesn't like how the person she is. She doesn't like her, okay? She said she doesn't like her. <laughs> and in season five, like I said, Throughout all these seasons, Christine is just a love girl. Like she's she's off to see her man. She is man, man, man. Okay, honey. She she didn't got engaged. I don't think she was engaged to the um the first one. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, but she is engaged on season five. And in season five, Christine is just trying so hard, so hard to like get back in the good graces of Heather and she has a new little buddy. We're introducing a third party, not a third party, but a third person. Um, Chelsea, I believe is the new girl's name for this season. Ooh, child. No, she didn't. This side is blended, but I don't know, ma'am. She just was trying so hard in season five to like get back in her good graces and she told her little new person or her little sidekick um chelsea i'm gonna call chelsea sidekick because that's that's just like the vibes i'm getting from her like girl you just you are riding christine's coattail yeah you got your own sauce your own flavor whatever but sis you are riding her coattail and that ain't cute child so yeah Just trying to sculpt out my face this is just what i do y'all don't have to take these tips or do anything with them i'm gonna have to do my baby hair over because chill she keeps trying to come up but yeah like chelsea is just riding her coattail and she's just telling chelsea how like oh i don't understand i don't even understand why heather hates me we she we were roommates at one point like she came to me crying on my couch and i let her stay with me like girl what you done doubt this girl you say how she's so stupid how she's ditzy and now she's the bad guy christine to me she's a walking contradiction she is she she really is but she makes the show <laughs> she she brings the entertainment she is the entertainment okay i'll say that because she is she is i feel like this is washing me out i hope that is a lot better i'm sorry y'all i changed the settings on my camera and i thought i liked them but now that i'm sitting down and putting on makeup I'm realizing I don't. I just think for her to say, for Christine to say all that and like you you want to be in her wedding baby the math ain't mathing that doesn't make sense to me like that that cannot possibly make sense to you like and i'll be on twitter i'm just like looking at like because i'll be tweeting when i'm watching it and i use the hashtag so i can be in on everything and i can see it and stuff like that and when i'm bored i'll just go search it see what other people like Cause you know it's not on a set timing for it to come out and then it drops the whole season so people are watching it at different times and to me it's just like 
some people really agree with this girl. Like, they don't see no problem. No problem. And think like, oh, she's not the villain. Okay, I get it. Some people don't like Chriselle. But. But, baby. Like. Christine ain't it either. It, that's just how I feel. Now, another person who I feel like is, she she basically got her butt handed to her. Like, she got her ass handed to her. I, I hate to say it. And that is Davina. Because Davina is like, season one, she was a B word. Plain and simple. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. I don't care if she have coat it because I don't care for her. <laughs> but she was a B word and... She even would like try to go against Brett and um Damn, what's the other name? I don't know, the twins, the the owners, the brokers of the open time group. I guess they're brokers, I don't know. But anyway, um, it's just like Yeah, I lost my train of thought. So yeah, I was saying how Basically, Davina got her butt handed to her as time went on because, Miss Ma'am, you can't see her. She just, she was just like really arrogant. I'll say that in my opinion. She was really, really arrogant. And especially with that listing, everybody knows about the compound. And that's like the biggest joke on Twitter. Not the biggest joke on Twitter. Let me not say that. Let me not overkill because... It wasn't that. <laughs> she um she had that compound listing and it never sold. So everybody on Twitter is like, oh, has Davina sold her compound? Has Davina sold her compound? People were going as far as to Zillow the compound. <laughs> and boom, there it was. Still for sale. Hold on, you guys, because my brother just got here. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. Let's see. I just want to get this off my face because I had just going to let my brother in. Well, I had to let him in, but I just didn't want to be disturbed, so I went out there. So, back to what I was saying. Um, I think I was like at where I said Davina basically got her ass handed to her because um, just karma like i really believe it was her karma she in the first season she just tried to make it seem like oh not a goody two-shoe act but like how should i put it but like i don't know just bitchy i just feel like she was she was the bone carrier she was giving sheree from real housewives like oh this person said this and that but it was all about Chriselle. it was just like she just hated Chriselle for no reason so i'm like i like to keep it real i like to keep it real since you're just going around telling people business well, not their business the whole thing was that Chriselle maya i believe is the one who said it and talking about some or i i can't remember don't quote me i don't know but anyways, they was it's, it was said that Chriselle was the one who was like, oh, Romaine pays for everything. But I believe that's just what Maya told her. I'm, I'm not, I don't know, I can't remember. But that's what is said or rumored, alleged. And like it was just, oh, Christine's not, Chriselle's not keeping it real. Chriselle's not keeping it real. Just own up to what you say. Like. Like, Davina went out her way to tell people, like, oh, this is what Chriselle said about, about Mary and Romaine. Like, bitch. Why, why are y'all doing this new girl like that? That's, that's weird. It's giving, it's giving high school. Like, what? I feel like my under eye is way too bright. But... What we're gonna do for that is actually miss my face because I have a spray break. My brother's using my bathroom. So it's in there. But anyways. Mm. 
just get like that chiseled chin. So this is the setting spray that I use. It's the um, Giovanni, Giovanni Facial Prime and Setting Mist. But as you can see, it's already kind of like toning down. I told you y'all it wasn't gonna be getting yellow. Um, but let's see. That's low key almost everything that I do. I just like to contour my face really nicely. Cause I have picked up some pounds and the, the face is getting chubby. But she's cute. Now I mean if this is too much for you, just you know don't do it. <laughs> but um, this is my everyday and if I'm not talking about a TV show or even talking to y'all, it does not take me long to do this at all. And I also just put some of that bronzer on my eyelids. Boom. Throw on my lashes. But yeah, so Davina basically is the bone carrier and by season five, y'all, Christine just, it was just a lot of stuff with her. Like it was always some drama. She fell out with Mary. Oh, also a thing I have to say about Mary. It's not all about Christine and Davina, the, the supposed bad guys. Um, I feel like they, they're the bad guys, but they made the show. Um... But Mary, I just feel like, like I said earlier, she did marry somebody who was like 20 something years old. And like I said, she's 40. Her whole story is like the single mom. And she finally like, you know, got to a financially like a comfortable place for like, you know, providing for her kids and stuff when she found real estate. And I mean, she's selling a million dollar homes. I'm pretty sure she has a nice life. Well, I mean, she's in California too though, so. A million dollars to them is five hundred thousand. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know, but in season five, she, basically she gets promoted. Sorry, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the show. In season five, she gets promoted to like um, they get another office down in somewhere. I don't know. I don't remember. And so she's the manager at the Oppenheim Group in wherever they are. <laughs> and so it's like Romaine is so young and he did express to her I believe that he didn't want kids someday not right now but someday and she was like okay you know like it just I guess it just went under the rug and he um now now that she's like she wants a um she has a promotion she doesn't want to have kids and you kind of see Romaine kind of like well, what kids that when we're gonna have kids when we're gonna talk so Romaine is the one who really wants kids now and now she's basically telling him like I ain't trying to do that right now baby because she got her promotion which I understand it but also I feel like yes love is true but you also have to marry somebody or just like be with somebody and y'all have like the same like y'all have like these same goals because I just feel like you're doing a disservice for to them and to yourself like that's like marrying somebody to me with a different religion and like you're not willing to convert or like you force them later on down the line. Um, now it's it's a difference if they say, yeah, we'll talk about it, we'll talk about it and lead you on. But if they're like, um, they just tell you flat out, that's not what I'm trying to do. Um, cool beans. Let them, let them have that choice to move on, but Telling them we'll revisit the subject and then marrying them. It's too much. That's a headache. That's that's arguments that could be avoided in my opinion. So I feel like she that's her life. I'm not gonna say if the decision was bad or good. I will say I, I, I think it wasn't thought out all the way. That's what I'll say about that, because I'm not married. I can't speak on married people's business, child. Um, where's my blush? Alme, excuse me, blush. That's the color. Um, it's it's giving cute. It's giving cute on camera. Okay, 
So, I mean, I just feel like that that was a disservice that she did to him. Um, but in like season four and season, oh yeah, quick thing. In season four and season five, it's more so focused, not more so on Cushel. Cushel got like divorced like season three or something, maybe season four, I don't know, I don't remember. And she just wanted some time with her family. I didn't know until season five that Chriselle was that old. She looks good. I thought she was, I, I didn't think she was no 20 some year old. I knew she was about 30s, 32. Sis is 44. 40. I think, I believe she said 44. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I probably will go back and double check that. If I'm wrong, I'll put it somewhere here, but. I believe she said she's 44. That's why Jason, oh, Brett and Jason, that's his name. That's why she she had to move on from him because she was like, he's been a bachelor his whole life. Yo, I'm sorry, I'm really packing on this blush today because I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling blushy. I don't know. That was corny. Curse and never do that again. Um, <laughs> I see the girls who put like right here and stuff. And like they run it over and it was just like a line, like some anime shit. I like it. I like it, Picasso. But yeah, that's how we rocking today. I like my makeup. I feel like you can still see this line faintly on my nose. I didn't put enough foundation. Maybe I need to start color correcting it. I don't know. But my face is given, honey. And she looks even better in person. Yeah, that was a lot. But that's just how I feel about the show. It's 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 okay. I feel like Christine's a villain. They portrayed her as a villain. She's she's the main attraction. She's the entertainment. <laughs> I, I don't like her, but gotta call it spade a spade, baby. This is how I feel. I feel like spraying that stuff really made the blush pop. I ain't gonna cap to you. So pretty, right? So pretty. And they look even better on. Even better on. I feel like lashes truly never look like, I mean, they look like it from the pack on your eyes, but sometimes they be different and they look a lot better. Yeah. So that's just how I feel about it. Um, It was good. Real estate, I, I can say versus other selling sunsets or selling whatever on Netflix. There's more so focused. It's it's the drama and real estate. If y'all want me to talk about selling Tampa, I will give you my little two cents on it and the main people who stuck out to me. Cause that those are the main people who stuck out to me in selling sunsets. Christine, Chriselle, she was cool, but I just I'm not gonna say she had the victim mentality or always played the victim, because I do believe like they mainly were picking on her, but I don't think she's completely like innocent, but I don't think she's like mean girl status either. Cause um, Davina, Chelle, I would have slapped sis in first season or whenever, whenever Christine or Chriselle, whenever Chriselle got that divorce from her husband or her husband filed for divorce and she didn't know. Davina was like, oh, how do you not know? How do you not know your husband filing for divorce? Well, what did you do? What did you do? I just believe it's always two sides to a story. Are you trying to sleep with her husband or something? Because ma'am, this, it doesn't matter. This is who you know. You know her, you perceive her marriage from the outside looking in to just, just be fine. I'm not gonna say perfect cause you don't never know. And you don't know what other people do behind closed doors or go through behind closed doors. So that's, that's the thing. But to sit here and, and, and they were at somebody's party and she was just had her finger in her face and tell the truth, tell the truth about her marriage. Sis, it's my marriage. What, what like, Speaking from Chriselle, like what what does that have to do anything with you? Like, and it shouldn't be the topic of a discussion at this party. Like, that was overkill, and I feel like the internet tore her apart for that. And um, oh, that Mary's like some party for Mary and Romaine. I think 
But Romaine, even he was like, because the, the, cause what she said got back to them because they found out, oh, it was um, whoever. And so Romaine actually confronted Davina about the paying for everything situation. And so he told her, he was the only, he's, he was the only one who had enough cojones on that show to tell her. Because at first, I'm not going to cap, Davina was number was number one for villain for me. And then Christine. But I feel like Chris Chriselle, she ended up starting to get a little backbone and stuff with them. Christine basically ended up falling out with everybody by season five <laughs> and then wanted to come back and play the victim role with the little sidekick named Chelsea. And even cried fake alligator tears about they're ganging up on me there's nobody ganging up on you we addressing you about stuff you said oh that's why there's a girl on their name amanza love amanza amanza's me she's the i'm gonna get to know you for myself and then we'll see how that goes she's seen christine bit and yeah well like with everything else she said, she was like, okay, I'm just, that's, that's not the Christine I know. And so Christine flipped on her one time. And she addressed her about it. And Christine was like, they're all ganging up on me. Girl, bye. And, and then Chelsea. Oh, from an outsider looking in, you guys are attacking her. Of course you'll say that. You don't know her. You don't know her. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and wrap this up because I do have to go get my kids. Um, <laughs> so that's just my whole take, not on the whole show, but on the bits and pieces that are like kind of hot topics, which is Christine. Oh, she didn't come to the reunion. The whole reason she didn't come because like in the last few episodes, it was said that like, um, she paid a client $5,000 to not use the girl who was like, who her ex cheated on her with like to not use her as their real as her maybe i'm just touching it too much <laughs> it looks good it feels good i am i'm just, I'm just gonna um define my keep it slow because you know we giving the girls rihanna not truly baby And I just don't want to go all the way down because that's just my prerogative. This is called Guilty Pleasure. It's a little more pinky and shimmery compared to, it's by Laugh Out Loud. Y'all just be just fat. Really pretty color, not going to cap. I just wish it was a little warmer. I'm gonna put some gloss on it because it's dry as hell.